playing professional baseball is tough enough, so just imagine trying to play the game with a chronic medical condition. Hutch Connerman has the story of a Dragons pitcher who at an early age was dealt a nasty curveball. Daniel Rankin has been staring down batters most of his life, but since fourth grade, this right-hander forced to focus on a much tougher opponent, type 1 diabetes. Professionally as a minor leaguer, uh, when you're traveling and going to places, stopping at places like McDonald's or Taco Bell every time you go to eat, then it gets a little tough. But as long as you keep a certain regimen going about what you eat and making sure that you always give yourself insulin when you eat, always make sure your blood sugar is where it needs to be, and don't take a break on it, don't get lax with it, uh, it you're going to be fine. You're going to be able to, to live your life normally. The key to success for any pitcher is control. The same holds true for diabetics. Daniel Rankin wears an insulin pump, but remains diligent about his diet. I'll have sweets every once in a while. I'm not going to lie about that. I do like sweets. Uh, but I have to be smart about it, and I can't eat five Snickers bars. Uh, but I, I can go out and have, uh, I mean, I can eat carbs. I know that. If I do have a little sugar, I know how to balance it out with protein. Uh, and I've kind of, you become your own nutritionist kind of thing. Uh, and so, actually, I have a little book that tells me every food, every fast food, how many carbs are in anything. And after so many years of doing it, I almost have everything memorized. And so it's gotten so easy for me uh, just because it's repetitive, repetitive. Just like pitching, it's repetitive. And I can take that mindset from the baseball field into my, my diabetic life, and it makes everything a lot easier for me. So what does a 21-year-old pitcher from Long Beach, California, have in common with an 8-year-old from Conover, Ohio? I'll tell you tomorrow at 6 when we continue our story on Daniel Rankin.